Hey, what's up, everybody? Dorn Aldana here coming at you for another live episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about how to overcome call reluctance. I don't know, I'm sure you guys never have that experience, but you can imagine with the foreboding thought of reaching out to clients or reaching out to prospects or your favorite would be, I imagine, reaching out to realtors. You can imagine that there might be the odd person sometime, somewhere, on some rare occasion in the mortgage space who abhors the idea of making outbound cold calls, especially if they're ice cold. Perhaps you can relate to that. Well, what got me thinking about talking about this particular subject is that I was speaking with a client recently and he was telling me how one of the biggest hangups that's holding him back in his business is call reluctance. I said, tell me more. What do you mean by that? What he said was that he has an insurance agent who calls him every single week, every single week, and has no meaningful reason to call, has no meaningful new information, has no value to bring. The only reason why he calls is because he's asking for referrals. So literally it's, how's it going? How's the week going? Got any new leads for me? That's literally the conversation every week. And he said, I'm literally avoiding his calls now because it's the same thing every week. And I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy to my realtors. I don't want to be that guy to my clients who's just an annoyance, who's just calling, asking for something, needy to get something from people. I don't want to be that guy that people literally block out and ignore because they're, I'm coming across as being salesy or needy or, or slimy or uncool. Perhaps you can relate to that. Well, today we're going to talk about what's really at the root of call reluctance and how can you shift that energy from it being something you hate, abhor, resist to something that you actually enjoy that's fruitful, that's fun, that's fulfilling, and that is something you actually look forward to. I know that's probably hard to even believe or imagine at this point, you know, making calls and having it be enjoyable. But what you're about to learn today can do exactly that. It can shift it from being an unwanted, nasty, foreboding, negative energy to inspiration, motivation, excitement, and fun. And so we're going to take you through that journey today. Now, you know that you have call reluctance when you rather get a root canal at the dentist than pick up the phone and make calls. You know you have call reluctance when you'd rather be stranded on a deserted island with your mother-in-law than pick up the phone and make outbound calls. You know you have call reluctance when the moment you even think about picking up the phone to make those outbound calls, it feels like it weighs 10,000 pounds, this thing called your smartphone, all of a sudden weighs 10,000 pounds and you can't pick it up. So call reluctance, it's a real thing. Maybe even the thought, the mere thought of making outbound calls to realtors gets you sweaty palms and gets your heart beating. You know you have call reluctance when it's the last thing you want to do. When you schedule appointments in your calendar and you know that it's important to do it, you've got block scheduled time pre-allocated to make outbound calls to clients or to realtors, and then the time shows up and you end up finding something to do, shuffling papers, doing book work, you know, doing anything, any kind of minutia other than making those calls. Perhaps you can relate to that. So who do LOs, loan officers, mortgage professionals, mortgage bankers, mortgage brokers, mortgage agents, whatever you want to call yourselves, who do LOs typically have call reluctance with? Well, usually it's the realtor, the financial planner, the accountant, the referral partners. That's usually top of the list, right? And maybe on top of that, it might be calling clients and asking for referrals or even calling prospects and following up with all these leads that you're getting. If you're buying leads or you're doing internet leads and they're cold, that might be rather unpleasant for you too. So obviously some types of people have a higher degree of resistance for you than others. For, for some of you, you're listening to this and like, I don't know what you're talking about, Doran. I love making calls. Well, obviously this episode is not for you. But if there's a part of making outbound calls to a particular segment of a particular niche or segment of your marketing plan that 
feels like resistance for you, this is where you're going to want to apply what we're going to talk about today because it's going to be a game changer for you. So why do we get call reluctance? Is it because you're lacking motivation? No. Is it because you're lacking discipline? No. Is it because you're lacking work ethic? Chances are no. The biggest reason why, in my mind, in my opinion, based on 15 years in the game on the front lines of capitalism, working with mortgage professionals, why mortgage professionals have call reluctance is none of those things. The single biggest reason why they have call reluctance is because they're lacking unique value. Let me repeat, the single biggest reason why you have call reluctance is because you're lacking compelling, unique value to inspire a meaningful conversation. Case in point, if you were commissioned to call a client or a realtor to give them the happy news of elation and excitement that they just won the lottery, would you have any problems making that call? <laughs> Obviously not, right? Why is that? Because it's a happy topic, it's a meaningful topic, and most importantly, it's a valuable topic. It's something they'd love to hear about. It's something that adds value to their life, right? You would have no qualms, I don't care who you are, about giving them the happy news. True? So the single biggest reason why you're lacking inspiration, motivation to make calls is you're lacking a compelling, unique value proposition. Agreed? That's the biggest reason. Why you lack the motivation to make those calls is because you've got either an anemic or non-existent unique value proposition. Wouldn't you guys agree? I mean, if you had a kick-ass unique value proposition and you knew without a shadow of a doubt to your core that you're bringing something that no one else is bringing, that's adding value to people's lives like no one else is adding value, and it's so kick-ass and so compelling and so unique and so meaningful that you know it's literally has the power to change people's lives. And it's so meaningful that it makes you irreplaceable, indispensable, and gives them compelling reason to put you on their speed dial and to make you their exclusive. Do you think you might have a little bit more pep in your step, a little bit more sparkle in your eye to make those calls? Uh, I don't know about you, but my answer to that is absolutely hell yeah. It would make all the difference in the world, right? So let's talk about what it really takes to have that unique value proposition, to have that compelling hook that gets them wanting to talk with you, that gets them wanting to meet with you, that gets them wanting to send you referrals. Shall we talk about that? All right, so let me ask you this, guys. What is it that you need to have in place to have that unique value proposition such that we obliterate all call reluctance from now on, once and for all? Well, the first thing you need, guys, is you need the right strategy. The right strategy. In other words, you want to be you don't want to be doing what most loan officers and mortgage professionals do. Flying by the seat of your pants, hoping, wishing, and praying someone's gonna say yes, just because you show up and you got great rates and great service. That is not, in case you hadn't noticed, a very effective strategy. Another strategy you've probably noticed doesn't work very well is calling every Monday to a list of 40 realtors, the same realtors every Monday with a lame ass value proposition, kind of like that story of the insurance agent where you're just hoping, wishing and praying because you're talking to them that they're gonna wanna send you referrals because you exist, you have a pulse, you can fog a mirror and hey, who else would they wanna send referrals? Why not you? You're the one calling them every Monday, beating them over the head with the same old idea that hey, I great, I've got great rates, great service, why not me? If you hadn't noticed by now, that doesn't work either, does it? So you got to have the right strategy. And another thing you probably noticed doesn't work very well is to just hit them up cold. So you got a list of 40 to 100 realtors, for example, and you're just hitting them up cold. Most so-called coaches out there will get you to just compile this and hit them up cold. There's no text message, voicemail, email that's pre-cooking them, pre-tenderizing them, getting them hot for what you got. It's just a straight cold call with a lame ass value prop or no value prop, hoping and wishing and praying just because you show up and you do great rates and great service, you're gonna get an appointment and get their business. That's not how it works in case you hadn't noticed. 
So you've got to have the right strategy, guys. And cold calling people every single week on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday, or I don't care what freaking day, is doing it the hard way in case you hadn't noticed. And that's what most so-called marketing coaches in the mortgage space will get you to do, doing it the hard way. So my strategy is not to cold call them. My strategy and what I know to be the most effective, shortest path to the cash method is to get these people reaching out to you, get them responding to your text message, to your voicemail, to your email saying, hey, I'd like to talk about that. Yeah, I'd like to talk about that. Yeah, I'd like to have a quick convo, get together for coffee. I, I want to learn more about what you got. Can you see how that makes it a lot more compelling to reach out and pick up the phone when they've told you, they pre-selected and pre, uh, shall we say, congregated themselves, if that's a, a good way to describe it, where you're getting, say, 100 realtors on your hit list and you get 20 to 30 of them pre-selecting themselves, pre-congregating themselves as a subset segment of that master list who raise their hand and say, yeah, I'm interested. Yeah, I'd like to learn more. Yeah, let's have a conversation. Can you see how that would help to overcome call reluctance? Now they're telling you they're interested. We're letting the cream rise to the top. And then you're only talking with the people who are hot for what you got. You're not pushing soggy noodles up hills, right? You're not trying to preach to the unconvertible. You're preaching to the choir of people who are already receptive. They're already pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, hot for what you got, predisposed to say yes. That way you might, out of 100 uh, top producing real estate agents that you reach out to by text message, voicemail, email, you might get 25 to 30 of them that say, you know, don't talk to me or talk to me. Let's say half and half. So you might get 15 of them that are interested and say, yes, let's talk. You might get another 15 that said, go away, I don't wanna to talk to you. Perfect, you just saved your time, you didn't have to talk to those 15, right? Now you get to just pre-select the hot for what you gotters, the 15 who are already eliciting a yes response and you get to reach out to them. Can you see how that would help you with call reluctance, right? A much more streamlined, much more effective method. You guys with me on that? So that's the first step is you need to have the right strategy. The second step in the process is you need to have the right selling point, the right selling point. And as you've already heard, the right selling point is not, hey, I've got great rates, I've got great service, I've been in the game for eons, send me your business. That is not the right selling point. That's a minimum standard just to be in the game, guys. Real estate agents expect that as a minimum, just to be in the game. That is not enough to push them over the proverbial hump to have them be so committed to you that they make you their exclusive, right? So what is the selling point? Well, as far as my experience goes, being in the game 15 years coaching mortgage pros, the single most valuable hook is helping them grow their business, okay? Help them make more money, help them get more buyer leads, help them get more seller leads, help them get more repeat and referral business, help them get more rave reviews, help them dominate on Google, help them automate and systematize and streamline so they can earn more while working less. Notice the whole idea is help them make more money with less time, energy, and effort. Help them grow their business, right? That's the ultimate selling point. So we've got to have the right strategy. We need to have the right selling point, the right bait, Different types of bait attracts different types of critters, right? So we need to have the right bait for the right critter. You want to attract the top producing real estate agent, you need to have the right bait for that critter. And it ain't going to be great rates, great service. That ain't going to get you in the game. You already know that to be true. If you've been in this game for any period of time, you know that because they're coming across apathetic, arrogant, they're hanging up on you, they're not going to be the time of day because you're not giving them a unique value proposition that has you be worthy of their time. We want to flip the script so, they, so that they need you more than you need them. How awesome would that be? How awesome would it be to have such a compelling, unique value proposition that they need you more than you need them, such that you're calling the shots. They're working on your terms, not theirs. You're interviewing them. They're not interviewing you. 
You've got the cookie. They don't get the cookie. You got the cookie. How awesome would that be? Well, that's what I'm talking about. You need to have the right strategy. You need to have the right selling point. You guys with me on that? If this is making sense and you're watching this live, hit me up. Hit me up with comments. I'm checking your pulse. Are you guys alive out there? Hit me up with a comment or a question about this. I want to hear from you. Are you guys listening? Are you guys with me? All right. The next point I want to make really clear is you need to have the right script. You need the right strategy. You need the right selling point and you need the right script. By script, that's what I call the words that work. There's a way to have your strategy and your selling point be compelling. And there's a way to have it be repelling. And it's all based on how you posture yourself, how you position yourself, and how you articulate your unique value. And there's lots of ways to blunder this. There's lots of ways to mess this up. So you gotta be able to articulate it in a way that's compelling, that's not too sleazy, slimy, or uncool. Because if you position it with too much sleaze or slime or pressure or selling, you're going to be repelling. And obviously that's counterproductive. So you need to have the right script. And simplicity is key. There is power in brevity. You don't need a bunch of verbose show up and throw up data dump explanation. Just a simple little hook is all you need to get them chomping at the bit to learn more, to want to talk to you on the phone and book an appointment. Does that make sense, guys? And lastly, you guys need the right systems. So it's not enough to just sell awesome. You actually need to fulfill awesome. It's not enough to just give them high expectations and to make a big, bold promise, a big, bold promise on a big, bold value prop. You need to be able to deliver on that value prop. And that's where systems come in. You need systems for communicating, communicating the value prop and you need systems for fulfilling on the value prop. So for example, I got a client who's pretty new in the business, less than a year. He's in Vegas and he compiled a list of the top 75 and the bottom 75 most successful real estate agents in his market and the least just to be able to have two separate lists so that he could practice on the low producers first, cut his teeth, and then once he figures it out, he can work on the top dogs where the real money is made. Well, he got things twisted somehow and he uploaded the top 75 most successful real estate agents into our automated system that sends text messages, voicemails, and emails to these real estate agents to invite them to respond, to learn more about what he's got. He put his value prop out there and elicited a answer from the realtor as to whether or not they're interested in what he's got. Well, to make a long story short, he messed this up and he uploaded the top 75 instead of the bottom 75. And uh, little did he know, he got an avalanche of response. He booked five appointments with top producing real estate agents, the most successful real estate agents in his market in three days. Five appointments with top dog realtors in three days with not a single cold call because all of them were responding to his text messages, his voicemails, and his emails. How awesome is that? That's what I call working smart, not just working hard. Agreed? So those are the keys, guys, to overcoming call reluctance. The reason why you have call reluctance is because you're doing it the hard way. You don't have a unique value proposition. You don't have the right strategy. You don't have the right selling point. You don't have the right script and you don't have the right systems. And because of that, you have call reluctance. So call reluctance is just a symptom of a deeper problem. And until and unless you get to the root, you'll never change the fruit. So you got to stop putting band-aids on the symptom and get to the root cause. You don't need a band-aid, you need surgery. You need surgery on a whole different approach. Stop doing it the hard way, guys. Doing it the hard way is no good for nobody, right? You don't get any extra brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way, for working longer and harder for your money, do you? So all, I'm all about working smart, not just working hard. I'm all about the shortest path to the cash. So if you guys would like to learn more about how you can get not only a breakthrough in your call reluctance, but more importantly, 
to have a system in place, a selling point in place, a strategy in place to be able to attract top producing real estate agents to you working on your terms, not theirs. I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. That'll give us an opportunity to lift up the hood on your business, either with me or one of my consultants. We'll dive right into your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at, where you want to be. And if we can help you take that whole momentum of systems and strategy and scripts and selling point and apply it to your business to get you massive momentum and breakthrough results in your business, by all means, we will show you how to do that. And if we can't, we'll be the first person to advise you to pass on our services. Either way, you're gonna leave this call with massive value, massive clarity, and we'll have some fun. You'll leave the call with more clarity than chances are you've got on any call your entire career. I promise you that. This is not for someone who does not want to grow their business. This is not for someone who just wants to make little itty bitty, bitty incremental improvements. This is for mortgage professionals who wanna add an extra 150,000 plus to their annual income. This is for mortgage professionals who are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being stuck in stagnation. This is for mortgage professionals who understand the difference between working smart and working hard and they're ready to work smart. This is for mortgage professionals that are not okay with being complacent and neglecting and drifting in life and in business. This is for mortgage professionals who have a deep, red hot fire of desire to kick ass, take names and chew bubble gum in this business. So if that's you, I invite you to book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. My team is also there for you. We've got certified, bona fide, kick ass consultants that will serve you if I'm not available. And one thing you've got to know for certain as you book this call, one thing I can promise you is that if you are truly hungry to take your business to the next level and to provide for your family at the next level and to have peace of mind financially and to have a flourishing, thriving mortgage business with a full pipeline of closings that continues to grow month after month after month, not only is it possible, not only is it probable, but it's absolutely inevitable when you work smart instead of just working hard. So I invite you to join us. Check it out. I promise you it'll be worth every single second to discover and uncover how to unlock your greatness. So thanks for watching. This is MortgageMarketingCoach.com, the art of mortgage marketing podcast. And my name is Dorn Aldana, the Mortgage Marketing Coach, coming at you live, baby, with another episode. We just talked about how to overcome call reluctance forever. Get the right strategy, get the right selling point, get the right scripts, and get the right systems. You put those pieces of the puzzle in place, you're unfreaking stoppable, my friends. So go forth, take massive action, bring massive positive energy to that action. Chances are you will get massive results. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. We'll talk to you again on the next episode.